uh, I would say inequality. Our world is accepting inequality. When you have uh, 1,7 billion people who live in slums, and this we know since now, 100 years, and we didn't do anything, the slums population is increased. When we have officially from the United Nations a World Bank statistics, that we have three billion people on the poverty threshold. No? Absolute poverty threshold, not severe. The severe are one billion in 2000, official statistics. When you accept that 62 persons today, today have the same wealth accumulated than the most poor, half of the most poor people of the world, which uh, represented 3,6 billion people. If you distribute to the world population, the less poor, the more poor, etc., you have 3,6 billion people who are the most poor population in the world. They accumulate the same wealth, financial, monetary wealth, than 62 persons. Uh, they were 300 a few years ago, now 62. And this is increasing. When uh, you know that uh, the in 18 August this year, according to uh, the Footprint uh, Global Network in America, we are going to consume all biotic capital of land and water, renewable, yearly renewable capital. We are going to end it, consume it entirely. And therefore, for the next four months, the human population will live with the stock, the fixed capital, which means that uh, if you have uh, consumed your salary at the 20th of the month, no? and we are now have consumed the 20th of the month, uh, our capital, biological capital, uh, we accept inequality because it's only 15% of the population who has consumed the yearly renewable uh, uh, biotic capital of the planet. Inequality. We accept that a few people, few thousands of people, in key positions that decide uh, our lives. We accept that there are only an administration, like the USA, can decide to make war in the world. No. Who decides the world, war in the world today? The world? Humanity? The United Nations? Only if you Sarkozy wants to decide to bomb over Libya alone. He decided. He sent war aircraft to bomb. Bush decided to go in Iraq or well, in Afghanistan. And then uh, now he has been recognized that uh, Tony Blair no, did the great mistake alone with an accord agreement with the Bush. They decide to attack Iran. This inequality. Inequality is the key issue of the future of our society. And uh, there are a lot of people, I, in this sense, I am very skeptical about the good social role of academia in the world. The academia made by people who know academia should be the first institutions to fight against inequality. And academia does not so. Of course then the media comes and the game. Media uh, 
are fed by <laughs> inequalities. They, they expand because of inequalities. So this is the big question.